And welcome back to Music Free Gaming. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. It is a beautiful Saturday morning, and you are beautiful too. All right. All of that out of the way. No, seriously, you're beautiful. It's, it's, it's a thing. Go with it. I know. You may not hear that every day, but it's true. All right. Hey, moving on. <laughs> we'll be playing some... Some modded Minecraft back here in uh, my create mod going green world. Uh, here, I'll prove it to you. See, there it is. And uh, I've got a bunch of little things sort of planned for today. I need to do, a f I need to, I need dyes. So I'm looking at like flower farms, cactus farms, really simple stuff. And sort of planning out what I want to do for the next, um, or where I want to put some of the next builds and things. Uh, because I need to start thinking about that stuff, and I thought it might be fun to do with all of you around. So, let's go ahead and jump in, and... Ah, uh, the chocolate farm is chocolating. Cows are being milked. The, uh... Chocolate farm is making chocolate, so this is... This is fun. Why is that guy not... Does he not have a bucket? I guess it's possible. Of course, I just closed it, so. Yeah, that's probably it. Just lack of buckets, perhaps. Okay, well, that's fine. Totally fine. All right, um, right. Farms and things. I remember what I was doing. All right, so yeah, I need a... A couple of things here. here. Just because this is bugging me a little bit. Oh, I need to set up the slice, slice chocolate deal here. Do I have sliced pie? I do. Do I have a real pie? Probably not. At least not on me. I think I've got one in the inventory here somewhere. All right. Definitely don't need those now. Um... Hang on. Put those back. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I need to clean up after my last building session on Thursday after the stream. Chocolate spilled with an O. Okay. Cool. We're going to need that. Let's go set up the slicer. So how y'all doing this? Fine, fine Saturday morning. I hope you're doing well. It's uh, definitely a day to be sadder on. Sat that doesn't sound good. I, I, it's. I thought it was going to be good, but no, no, it, it just wasn't. I'm sorry about that. We'll, uh, we'll try to make the jokes a little bit better going forward. But honestly, I would not count on it. I, I really expect the jokes just to be bad all day, and honestly, that's just how it's going to go. We're just going to go bad jokes, and I hope your day's not sad. I hope it's awesome and amazing, just like you. All right. Let's get back to business. Anyone else want to break into a song? Okay, I need to put stuff back in that one. Uh, and then I need my storage toolbox because I need some cable. There we go. Ooh, looks like I'm going to have to make some cable soon. That That's fine. I can make cable. All right. Nice. So now we should be seeing. Yep, yeah, there goes the pies. Perfect. All right, so all of that can go away. Wonderful. Yep, hey, so I'm just gonna... Yep, see, we slice up the pies, we get slices. Ah. Ain't industry wonderful. All right, yeah, so... Let me clean up a little bit and then try to figure out where the heck I want to set up um, 
flower farms because that just seems like a thing that I should do, right? Yeah, because I'm... So here's the deal. And maybe it's not a good deal. I, I don't know. It's definitely a deal of some sort. Yeah, see that filled up fast? <laughs> I'm not keeping a lot of pie in the inventory, so... No, so here's the plan. Um, I've got things that I'm going to need to be doing here in the not too distant future. And the reality is I don't know where any of it's going to go or, in fact, how I'm going to be dealing with it. So I'm going... Oops, I think I want that wrench back. Thank you. I suppose I could put that in the toolbox, but I use it often enough. Probably not that uh, big a deal to keep around. All right. So here's the thing. I'm getting to the point now where I'm starting to actually have food production, right? On stream Thursday, we built these to build, to make uh, chocolate bars, chocolate pie, and, and chocolate glazed berries, right? Just all delicious, right? All good things. And I need, one, I'm going to have to cover this whole area up because it's just looking bad, right? I sh My factory shouldn't be open to the air over here, right? But as I start finishing up, right, I'm going to be adding a couple more desserts. I've got a custard to make. I've got a few other things. It's like, what? Where do I put stuff? What do I even make it look like? And I've talked about a little bit in the past that I want to... I think I want to build restaurants. Maybe a uh, some form of strip mall or food court or... Just a cool place to go, and I think, I don't know where that's going to be. <laughs> let's, let's be real. I do not have a clue where that's going to be. But, it should be someplace. Actually, I kind of think what I might do, and this, one, this might be kind of cool, is what if I, so I've got my factory here, right? This going up, which still needs a lot of work and decorations and all that stuff, so it looks better. But the factory is here. What if I actually come over this way and, uh, you know, out here towards the nether portal, I'll clean up a bunch of this stuff because, you know. What if I build out on this stretch of land out here? Because right, there's a lot of land here on this this plains, right? So what if I turn this into all the restaurant-y goodness? And then what I could do, potentially, is I could set up trains, like, you know, as delivery trucks. And they could pull in and out, pick up the different foods and things and deliver them around the, the shops here. Right? I think that would be really cool. And it's not a huge bit of land. You can kind of see the river kind of borders it here. But I think that would be really, really slick. It's just a matter of making it all work. Right? And yeah, I could set up... Uh, I can set up like a garage right over here, which would, uh, I think, actually be cool. Yeah, and just, okay, here's delivery trucks coming out, right? They could come out from over there. I could have some over here, but I'm right on the water, so I don't think that's going to be as, uh, as cool. Honestly, that might be the way to go kind of like this idea. Okay, so that's great. The catch is if I do that, I'm going to want each restaurant that I build to have its own flavor, right? They should look different. 
I, I, I guess is what, what I'm trying to say. And if that's going to be the case, oh, got a bed right here. I'm going to need some different colored stuff, right? The factory is pretty... I actually, I really like this, the deep slate and the crimsite and the viridium. But the candy shop should look bright and colorful, right? So I think what I want to do is try to set up some some form of something here. Now, this is actually an interesting question then. If, I, so I was thinking I would... I was going to build restaurants all up here or set up a uh, vending machine up there or something like that. But now as I'm thinking about that, like I was going to build it all up top here. And now as I'm thinking about it, I don't think I want to go that route. All right? I was going to come up and have like there's going to be an elevator here that took you up. But now I'm kind of thinking I may want to still put some form of main door here complete with my cat creeper guard but maybe I actually want to have this open this way a little bit All right the storage is going this way I've got lava bucket just in case I needed some right I've got an easy way to get it I may want to do a little bit of something this way but I could continue some farms over here some factory bits like um i don't know like the honey glazed stuff right so honey there we go honey no i thought hang on so we've got some honey glazed yeah honey glazed apples are spouts Honey cookies are just honey and wheat. So I really only have one other spouty thing. Heck, even the honey glazed ham uses bottles. So I could put a another spout here for, you know, to make uh, honey things. Hey, Sprite. Oh, yeah, it's it's been a while. Last year, of course, that was a week ago, right? <laughs> yeah, so I could put the honey glazed apples here. But I do need flowers. The question is, because I'm going to need dyes. So the question is, where the heck do I want to put them? <laughs> and that I do not know. Let's go upstairs. Let's head up to the warehouse level. And, I, hey, corny jokes are, are welcome here. This is a place for corny jokes. <laughs> I opened the stream with a, with a corny joke, so, you know. So, yeah, I've got the space in this hillside here. Let me free camp for a minute, right? I've got some space under here. What if I were to take this area, carve it out, and put the dye factory here, right? So I've got flowers and then I, and I'm gonna need a cactus farm. Oh, right, blue was an issue, but yeah, you know, I'll, I'll deal with that. But that could be okay. Yeah, so Sprite, I was just talking at the beginning of the stream, right? I'm starting to get to a point where I'm gonna be crafting real food. <laughs> Right on stream Thursday, I started making chocolate pies and chocolate bars and all that good stuff. And uh, so, someone was asking me what you want to build a game. Tell them something random. So you know, build something random. Yes, of course. Yes, that's how that goes. No, what I was talking about earlier that I think what I want to do is take this islandish area out here and turn it into a. Uh, basically a little town of restaurants. And to do that, I'm gonna want things of different colors. So now I'm thinking, I'm gonna need concrete and uh, dyes for the concrete and maybe terracotta and 
So, yeah, dies are definitely a thing that are, that's going to have to happen. And I think if I tear out some of this hillside here. The other thing I'm going to have to build, I think, with this is a uh, bone meal farm. Because a nice moss, one, two, three, four, yeah. A nice moss farm, just generating bone meal, is probably going to be a good thing. That, and I think the azalea saplings will be nice for decorations and stuff. But, but yeah, if I take this out and put the... Actually, I kind of like the idea of having the flowers. Like, you get off the elevator. Whoop, there are flowers doing their flowery things here. And then I could have the dyes happening out that way. And I've got all this room. That might work, I think. I'm not sure. This is... I'm sort of winging it here because I honestly... and had no idea what I was going to do today until about 20 minutes ago. So, I'm really not prepared for, for the day. This is why I need a goal. <laughs> it's like, hey, my goals are, I need food. We're going to make the food. Also, the frog. Um, am I going to break into, okay, got storage over there, which is fine. As long as I'm careful, it should be okay. Am I good here? Probably. Let's go get the drill. Oh, man. So, yeah. It's, uh... I like the progress, but... I don't know. You're excited for Monday. Ooh, are fun things happening? I like fun things. Okay, let's see. So, let's grab the drill. Let's close enough to grab the drill. All right. Let's grab our... Hopefully, uh, you've got all sorts of fun things in your future. Okay, drop off the stone. Ah, kids going back to school. Those are fun things. Uh, you know, I count that as fun. <laughs> Yep, one of my daughters goes back to school here in a couple of weeks, I think. What is today? The the sixth? So yeah, a week and a half maybe. But the other one is gonna be here for a while, so you know. I mean, I can't complain. She's cool, but still. We spent a couple of hours yesterday talking D D and role playing games and all sorts of fun stuff. Oh, kitty fun, huh? Vet visits and all that goodness. I think. I don't remember how far this sticks out. Let's give my give this a little extra room. I really should remember this. <laughs> how much space do I need at the back of this to get the get this cart rolling and not break stuff? Ah, yes. Yeah. Our, uh, we, a, we took our cat in for shots here, I think, uh, a couple of weeks ago. One, two, three. Okay, three. He was not amused. He does not like when he has to go to the vet. Oops, that's not what I wanted. He also is not a fan of car rides, so... Yeah, all in all, not a fun day for for the cat. But you can't really explain to them, oh, this needs to be done. Somehow I don't have any torches. How do I not have torches? Probably because I accidentally threw them in the storage system when I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> okay, okay. Oh, it's been a year. Oh, nice. Nice. Pets are, are awesome. I love pets. 
you know, we've got our, we've had our cat. We've had him for 14 years, something like that. Man, he is an unfriendly critter, but they're still cool. You can do it. I don't know how much further into, the, into this mountain I need this to go. I've got... So there's going to be the flower farm. And so there's, there's going to be those four things. I'm going to need the cactus. Right? Because that's a good place for green. Um, also, can you compost cactus? I don't remember. Do I have cactus? That's the other question. Oh, good. I've got a little bit. Okay, I think. So I can just free cam up for a sec. Yeah, all of my storage is up high enough. I don't have to worry about hitting it. Well, that's a good thing. That is a very good thing. Awesome. So let's clear out a little bit more space here, and then we'll figure out where all of this is going to lay out. <sighs> but yeah, I'm going to need all sorts of dyes. The one dye that's going to be problematic is going to be blue, but I think I can... I don't have to fully automate the dye production. I can buy lapis and do that too, so... Compost, yeah. See, that's... I've got a number of farms here that use or will need, um, or will use uh, bone meal, right? Oh, which reminds me, I gotta go fix this. Let me go get some shears. Sorry. We're gonna just randomly go off the rails here. Shears. Okay. Um... So, my mangrove farm broke again. I need to go fix it. Yeah, but see, I've got a couple of things, like... No, really open. Like, the mangrove farm uses bone meal here to generate mangrove. Uh, mangrove propagules. Okay, and... Scaffold. Go. Go, go, scaffolding. Well, that's... Great. Um, I'm also going to be setting up a glowberry farm, and glowberries only grow when you uh, fall off your machine. No, <laughs> glowberries only grow when you use bone meal on them, right? So, bone meal is definitely a thing I have to deal with. Okay. And grab our mangrove roots right there. Cool. All right, let's see how we're doing on stuff. That one's empty. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the mangrove farm going again. Yeah, so I've got that. I need bone meal for white dye. I need um, oh, all that stuff. So yeah, cactus would be good. So a moss farm would be would be great. Um, there are definitely options, and I'm not entirely sure all of them, but heck, I've got lots of plants, but controlling the output is a little bit of a pain, so. The only problem with a cactus farm is it is a little bit slow, um, which may not be a bad thing. Oh, okay. I've got room. But just something I need to be aware of, right? Put the bed somewhere. There we go. But I suppose if I make the cactus farm big enough. Yeah. If I make the cactus farm big enough, it might be, might be good. So I, I may have to. So I think it may do double duty for me here. All right, so there we are, three. Let's go and put this in. One, two, three. 
close enough. All right. All right, and let's get the drill going. Put it in the wrong place. Awesome. Let's uh, slide this over one here, shall we? Yes, yes, I think we shall. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. And you, yeah, you don't need a lot to get it going. Um, now, I happen to have four cactus, so we are really cooking. Um, all right. Good. We're good. All right. Light them up. And go ahead and head on off. Yeah, so I think... Um, So yeah, I think that might be a, a solid plan. Um, well, today is not a day for having my fingers in the right place, I think. So now it's just a matter of space, I think. And yeah, this is the part I was, part I was a little bit worried about, but I'm all of my pl my uh, cabling is above the level here, so. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, that's... I think that may be the way to go here, is, uh... At least start with the cactus farm, and hope that's gonna be good enough. Oh! Hi! I have reached the outside, apparently. Hello, outside. What the heck would I want to do with you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, outside. This is a cute little bowl here, by the way. Just a nice little area to build stuff if I wanted to build stuff. Actually, this, this area... I know, right? You! This area... Might be a good spot to actually build a full-on moss farm. Something to consider. But, because it's big and I would have to dig it out and it's back where nobody can see it. I mean, I do kind of want this stuff to be marginally attractive. Not unlike... You know, certain people I know, they are just marginally attractive. I mean, nobody in this community falls into that. Everybody in this community is awesome, amazing, and beautiful, and wonderful, but... Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, so I kind of like this. So, let me go ahead. I'm going to do one more pass with the drill. And then... We'll get... We'll get this. Now, I may... This is probably too big a space, but... Eh, whatever. It'll be cool. The other catch I'm going to have is... Where the heck do I have power? I guess I've got some coming in... Yeah, from here. So I can... I can actually tap that. Those are all locked. Okay. But I've got some places. Okay. I could definitely bring power down from there, though. So. Nice. So. Five. Right. Give the machine a little bit of room. Oh, man. Today is not a good day to be outside. It's, it's just above zero Fahrenheit here, which is, in Celsius, translates to burr. And, um, I have zero desire to be outside. Walking to work these last couple of days has been less fun than it might sound, you know? <laughs> it's like, oh, look. I, I do like my uh, temperatures to have positive values to them, right? Think positive outside temperatures. Think positive. One, two, three. And, uh, sadly, they don't listen to me, so. Alright, okay, so, 
throw down the machine, throw down the lever. I probably have enough rails, so let's go ahead and get this party started. All right. All right, so we'll let that go. So we'll drill out one more pass here. Again, we're going to be hitting outside area-ish, so keep an eye on that. But I was like, what the heck is moving? That's my cocoa farm. Oh, but it's it's exciting. I'm, I'm starting to get actual foods and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, sleep. Enjoy. You have a weird schedule. Don't. You know, I'm glad you're here, but take care of yourself. That's more important. All right. So this is going to come out. We're probably going to start seeing outside-ish here in a minute. Cool. So let's go just pick that up. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks. And, and sleep well. So I hope... Uh, all of the sleepiness is good for you. Or I'm not sure that came out well, but you, you know what I mean. Enjoy your your sleep. All right. I think we're okay likewise here. I just real cuz I just realized there were some dark spots. I didn't want to Didn't want to have too many cranky things coming at me here. Yeah, I haven't lit up most of the backside of that, but to be fair, I don't know many people who light up their backsides. It's just, it's just one of those things that, you know, it doesn't happen often in, in polite society. So, however, if you check out my OnlyFans, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. That, I, I, that was, uh, Okay, we are going to move on. I think I'm going to use a different block for this. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Okay. No, no. Yes, welcome to Music Free Booty. No, no, that's not, no. We're just not going to go there. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry, that was bad. It was too bad, and, uh, all right. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and dump some of the stuff in there. I need to go put my drill away, so we'll do that in a second. Um, crib site. I want to set a cornerstone here so that I can kind of figure out where this is going to be. I kind of like, let's give myself a little bit of space here. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll set up here. Okay. Okay, I think that'll be good. And then we'll have the four flowers. One, two, three, four. Uh, kind of over here. Though I... Okay, it's four, so you can't center it. Blame Minecraft for having an even number of flowers. One, two, three, four. If I give myself even a little bit of extra space... Just for aesthetic reasons. Two. One, two, three, four. One, two. Plop there. Yeah, that might be good. To come out, you have flowers. I don't want to come out this way too far. Because I'd like to still be able to fairly seamlessly make it over to the uh, storage grid and all that stuff. Alright. I'm definitely going to have to go... Wither skeleton hunting in the not too distant future, I can tell. Get a beacon and do some uh, some fun stuff with that, but okay. So if the flowers are gonna go here, all right. Let's see what I've got in the way of flowers. Um, I'm not sure they're all in the storage. Now that I think about it. Some of them I might have put, I might have kept out just to 
have them a little more handy and separate. Oops, not that. That. Topics. Apparently I didn't. Okay, that's just to be sure. Oh, I may have to go on a flower hunt too. I don't want to do that. I've got other things to do. Okay. I mean, it's fine, but... Okay. Go do your thing. Alright. Oh, my eye is itchy. Mornings are never good for me, allergy-wise, and... I am definitely feeling that today. I did take an allergy pill before stream, but... There are days. Alright, so let's let's see what I've got here. So I've got some roses, which we'll need. I have, um, let's see, is there a flower? Ah, there is. No, that's not helpful at all. Um, cool, do I have sunflowers? I do not. Um, geez, what's the, okay, here they are. Lilacs do I have? I don't think I have lilacs. Hashtag Minecraft colon flowers. Eh. Hashtag Minecraft colon Nope. Anyway, I don't think I have lilacs. Oh, I do have lilacs. Cool. I don't have sunflowers. Do I have peonies? All right, those guys, I do not. All right, we may have to go on an adventure. I don't like adventures. They're ghastly things that make you late for dinner. Okay, so I need sunflowers and I need peonies. All right. Well, let's see. Do I have a boat? That's the next question. Boat. I'll go boat. All right, let's gear up for an adventure. Um... Did I put... Yep. All right, so step one. We're going to change the hat. I don't think I have any other boots, so we're going to... We'll stick with the diving boots. Um, all right. Let's get the toolbox. Tools. Because if I'm going on an adventure, I'm going to need weapons, so. Get some weapons. It's an infinity bow, so I really only need a couple of arrows. Okay. And I think I've got plenty of food in the lunchbox. Yeah, I should be okay. So, at that, we've got a bed. All right. Let's go see if we can find, oh, let's, let's grab a lead. Because I think I'm going to take my horse. Grab a lead, and we'll grab... Um, do I have fence posts? I do. Cool. Let's grab a fence post. All right. And let's sleep before the adventure, because it's always good to start out in the morning rather than at night. All that fun stuff. All right. Let's grab the horse and go said I need peonies and I need sunflowers. And the reality is I have no idea where to find either of those things. Okay. All right, we're good now. All is right with the world. That was weird. All right. Peonies and sunflowers. Okay, found the peonies. Um, apparently, I had planted some here. So, cool. Well, that was easy. Uh, throw those in there. All right. Sunflowers. Let's see. I have not pulled up chunk base to find a sun, uh, sunflower field. So, probably may want to do that, but... 
I mean, okay, dandelions are yellow, but they're harder to deal with, because then you have to set up a full shaky floor flower thing. Which I suppose I could do. I've got corn flowers out here and stuff, but this area is going to be for restaurants, so I'm not farming here. Okay, let's also not fall down that cliff, though. Great. Um... All right, well, let's let's ride. I've probably mentioned it before, but this is my least favorite aspect of Minecraft. Where before I get too far away, let's see if I can remember where my base is. All right. We'll call it 600 200 or 600 300. All right. Cool. Got some wild radish or onions or something. Alright. Oh. This is nice. Um Oh, this is nice. Some azaleas. That means there is a um a fun biome down here. Okay, well that's good to know. It doesn't help me with the sunflowers, but that is good to know. Because I don't know. I I've got glowberries. I picked up glowberries from a uh, wandering trader, but I don't remember if I have moss, and so. Getting down there could be fun. Just happy out here in the sparse jungle. All right, so somewhere, somewhere, outside is full of snow. Well, inside watching streams is definitely a place to be. Welcome in, Carp. Glad to have you here. Hope your day is going well. I did find out why the uh, alert didn't pop yesterday. Apparently my uh, webhook settings in Kofi got reset, so. Okay. Not going to find a lot of sunflowers in the uh, desert, so. Cactus, yes. Sunflowers, not so much. I guess I could ride across the desert, but kind of out of luck this way, I suppose, because ocean. All right, well, we'll keep going, see if I can find some sunflowers. Ocean, well, okay. Because what I'm gonna need now is a sunflower, uh, sun, sunflower fields, right? It's like a plains biome. Okay, let's go, horse. We got this, you and I. We are totally going to find sunflowers. Or we're just going to get lost in a desert. That, that sounds like fun, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Def you can you feel the chunks load. Okay. Oh, it's like, why are there berry bushes here? They're not, they're tomatoes. Cool. All right, somewhere. I really should just fire up chunk base and find a sunflower field. I really should. It'd be so much faster. Whoa. Also, let's not fall down that ravine. That seems dangerous to leave there in the middle of the desert. I mean, seriously, somebody could fall and, and skin their knee or something. Did that, was that rabbit just stuck in the sand? May have been. 
All right. All right. Well, this this trip has been less uh, hopeful, less ex less exciting, less uh, something. I mean, that looks cool though. The water pouring out and all that stuff. That's. It is a cool bit of uh, landscape. All right. Well, this isn't. All right. Let me take a quick trip over to Chunk Base. Let's find out. Let's see. Because I am a cheater, cheater, cheating cheater who cheats at Minecraft. Um, all right. I need to find highlight biomes, sun. Flower plates. Here we go. Wow. Um, all right. That's not too bad. A thousand, two thousand up that way. All right. So we'll head out to. Oh, it's like three hundred and two thousand. Okay, cool. Well, that's forever away. Yeah, so what are we at? Three th a thousand on the X. That's actually not too bad. Or oh there's one closer to two thousand. Okay. And three thousand on the Z. So I've got a little ways to go. Alright, well I can do that. At okay. So seventeen and twenty seven hundred. Alrighty. And we're off in the uh Positive Z direction this way. <sighs> yep. All the exploring, I guess. So, how you doing? Well, you got uh, fun and exciting things happening aside from, you know, snow, snow shoveling in your future. Well, that's sort of a weird structure, but okay. It's like a... Huh. All right. Weird. Not something I expect to just find popped up there. It's like maybe it was a, uh, a drowned thing that just ceased to be. All right. You come with me. All right, let's see. You, uh, are you still with me? Yes, all right. I will row, you will swim, we'll be fine. It would be kind of nice to be able to put horses in boats, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna row around this. All right. Yeah, that was probably a wise call. Oh yeah, look at all of this happy ocean out here. Or is it happy? Are we just rowing through its salty, salty tears? We could be. All right. This seems like a reasonable place. Uh, how does vision work? Okay. Come here. All right. Let's uh, grab your lead and, and off we go. So if the mighty oracle is correct, then there should be a sunflower forest sort of off in this general direction, though. A lot of badlands over there. Yeah. I don't need terracotta today, but that's uh looks like a steep way down. Ow. Sorry, my my horsey friend. Yeah. 
Interesting little stretch of ban Badlands. Okay. All right. Well, we've got ourselves the baddest of lands. Um, yeah. Cool. Let's get off the horse. Come with me, horse. We are going to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm in my sinking boots. I don't want to be in my sinking boots. <laughs> yeah, the diving boots are great. They keep you from getting pulled away by your uh, mechanical belts and all that good stuff. But, oh, yeah, they, they sink hard. Okay. Oh, exciting. I don't think we're going to explore that. No, no, no. Sunflowers. I need sunflowers, not whatever's in there. All right, boat again. Come on. We'll just row. Oh, yeah, getting home is going to be its own special breed of fun. I can see that now. Let's go find these sunflowers. Okay, so... Okay, I was a little more scared there for a moment, but okay. Yeah. We've got... Oh, is that a... It must be a desert village right up there. Cool. Should I put up advertising? Yeah. You know, Come to my restaurants when they're open. Opening soon. Okay, so somewhere around this way-ish, I think. Um, I'm a little too Z, Z here, but it's okay. I think I need to go this way a bit. All right, assuming Chunk Base wasn't lying to me, which, you know. Hang on. That. Right, I'm going to just come take a look at this village. Hello, village. This is. This is definitely a, a case of the haves and the have nots, isn't it? You got your little guys down here with their pig. And then you got this whole group up here that's got the camels. And the cats and the iron golem and the uh, one little house. Okay. Okay. I suppose it would be nice to have a camel. I'm not entirely sure why, but could be nice to have one. I didn't bring a brush. I'm not doing archaeology. <clears throat> this is doesn't look safe at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so somewhere. I think I'm going to have to uh, double check my coordinates, but this this place is huge. Don't wander into a cactus, all right? You're only wearing leather armor. That would be pokey. All right. Before I go riding off, let's double check the uh, coordinates here on chunk base. So 17 and... Oh, I'm not Z, Z enough. It's 27. Okay. Cool. Cool. Let's... Nope. Oh, positive Z. All right, so this way somewhere. Um, all right. Boat lead. Come on. We got this. We're going to come over here, and we're just going to break this weird floating block. Okay. Um, I think, actually... Just the way the water is going, we should just row all the way over here. Out the way, 
Oh, butter. All right. You ever notice that people on the internet are weird? I have. Okay. I, I could just leave it there, but... So, it's a reaction to one of my shorts. Like, you know he should... Oh! Okay, there's a big hole there. Oh, he says, you know, he's just reacting because he's on camera. It's like, it's like yes, that, that's how the internet works. That's how entertainment happens, right? All right, you stay. All right, that was dumb. I, I did something dumb. What have you done today that's perhaps not so dumb? Take that out. I'm gonna make make more stairs. Probably not. Oh, that kind of did. All right. So we'll just uh, staircase, staircase. All right. Awesome. Okay. Now let's. Let us be gone from this stupid hole that I've fallen us into. Okay, positive Z. This way. All right, so theoretically, somewhere over this way, we'll find sunflowers. Ooh, acacia. I don't have acacia. We are going to absolutely cut down some of these acacia trees. Not many. I don't want to destroy the ecology. Or, you know, fill up my inventory with acacia logs, but... It would be nice to get some acacia into my uh, farms here. Another village. Lovely. Alright, any time you want to give me some... Uh... Does this... Oh, I don't have fortune on it. Okay. I don't know. I was, I was hoping I would have fortune on that pickaxe, but... No. That's just not... Yeah, Acacia's a nice block. Um, the logs are great for... kind of stone texturing. The Okay, the orange of the planks is a little bit harder to use. That doesn't make it bad. Just because a block is hard to use doesn't mean it's bad. Okay, so we've got two. You know, I should probably... Let's just throw those in the ender chest real quick. Okay. I'll want more than that later, but... That's fine, because they'll... The, uh... The farm will just generate them, so we're good. Alright, so. Shouldn't be too much farther. At least that's the theory. Okay, probably another 300 blocks or so if, uh, again, if chunk base was right. Okay, take the shoes off. Alright, come here, horse. Not that side, this side. That's right, come on up. Perfect. All right, let's ride. Lots of pigs. You know, one of the things I have to make, if I'm gonna make all of the foods, is honey glazed ham. And that requires ham, not pork chops, okay? And you get ham by uh, basically harvesting it from pigs using a knife. Pigs or hoglins. The problem is, I need to go that way. Uh, the problem is that, well, I can set up a machine to do that. I can use a deployer to uh, kill the pigs and stuff. There seems to be a bug in... Uh, create slice and dice that crashes anytime I attack something with a attack something kill something I'm not entirely entirely sure which 
using a knife and a deployer, which means I can't automate hand production. Theoretically, I should be able to, but it's just not, whoa. Okay, it's not falling down there. Not a thing that I can do. So I may have to uh, forego the ham or deal with that in some other way. Look at all of you horses. All right, so 27 is actually back this way. This is Jerry. Ah, there it is. There it is. Just this nice little sliver of a biome right over here. Awesome. I picked that up. I did not. Cool. All right. Well, we'll just uh, grab some flowers. Ah, perfect. All right. So we've got all of the flowers I need for the farm. Which, you know, is good. So, now the trick is to get home. So, I need to go negative Z, negative X, that back this way. Cool. That's a flower forest over there, which is fine. It's a good place for it to be, I suppose. All right. Nice. So, Let's boat. All right, come on, horse. You're a good swimmer. Let's do this. I think I may stick to the boat for... Well, I was going to stick to the boat for a little while, but... Looks like the ground has other uh, thoughts about that, so... All right, no, this is cool. We'll just... Um... Yeah. We'll do the thing. All right. And we're off again. Come on, horse. You can do it. All right. No, not the, not the fastest horse in the world, but, you know, good enough. Faster than walking, and I don't have an elytra, so we can go with it. Hello, cows. All right, well, it shouldn't be too bad if I hike back unless I run into something really bizarre. Yeah, I think I've talked about it before, but exploring is not my favorite thing to do in Minecraft. It's, I'd rather, you know, build and do some of that other stuff. Oh, I don't have bones on me. It would be kind of nice to get some dogs, but not that I necessarily need dogs. I just don't have them. So it'd be kind of nice to grab one. So, yeah, it's just, uh, so that's, it's one of the reasons why the, uh, proposed villager update is so annoying for me is it, and actually so many more of, so many of the updates they've got lately are just, um, they're explorer updates and I don't like to explore. It's like, oh yes, we want you to see more of your Minecraft world. It's like, I, um, and all, all things considered, I'd rather stay here and build in my Minecraft world and not traipse all over the world. But people at, at Mojang disagree with me that that's how the game should play, be played, so. All right. I, I do like this, the more predictable nature of some of the enchantments. But, yeah, you know, so I don't have to grind villagers so I can get mending and things like that. But, but the whole idea that, oh, I have to set up a, far, a swamp village and then uh, populate it so I can get uh, swamp librarians who will give me mending. Just, no, that that doesn't sound fun to me. 
Now, if they actually add Swamp Villages to the game, that's maybe a little bit better, but... Yeah. Oh, there was a cactus there, apparently. Alright, well, that's fine. I'll try riding around the cactus next time. It uh, may work a little bit better. You know, honestly, I I should harvest some of this cactus. All right, hang on. I'm going to be setting up a cactus farm. And I've got like four cactus. But it would be kind of nice to have a little bit more cactus just to uh, kickstart the farm. So I don't really have to wait for it, you know, to... Uh, to grow so that I can finish building the farm out. Oh, I should probably put my feather falling boots back on. Since uh, falling may in fact be a thing that's going to happen here. Some cool generation there though. All right. That didn't sound good. I, I heard something that doesn't sound good. Let's uh, get away from the, the scary sounds. And the, the rabbits. You can't trust rabbits. I don't know that I trust this, this terrain. Um, no. Do not trust this terrain at all. Okay. Um... Well, you know, I think probably what I should do is uh, fall down this hill for one thing. And let's, uh, all right, come on, let's go. We're just going to go past this little pi picturesque little uh, desert village over here. Which if I had been thinking of, of, of harvesting camels, I could have... I could have grabbed a couple of camels and from these two villages. See, I kind of wish that you could find um, camels in the wild rather than just in villages. Because you have to find like two villages to, because you, they only spawn one camel per village. So if you want to get camels to breed and stuff, you know, it's like, all right, now I need... I have to go out and find two villages, and... Okay. Alright, let's sleep. Oh, man. Alright. Let's go, dude. Oh, south we go. I think. I think I'm. I'm. Coordinates wise, I know I'm getting close to home. So I. Th I think this jungle. Is just on the other side of the river from my house. If I'm remembering. Geography at all. Which is. Possible. All right. So that means I probably want to. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Well, I think we're just going to, uh, horse, come on. All right, we're not going to go that way. We're going to go, all right, we're going to go this way. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. This is the wrong way. That's all right. Maybe it'll get us around the jungle. Maybe it'll get us around the jungle faster. I, I don't know that that's... Uh... Yes. Yes, it did. Perfect. Okay. Just making sure my horse is still back here behind me. Sort of important. Okay. 
grab a couple of lily pads. You know, not that they're like super important, but this is a mangrove swamp. This is the extent of the mangrove swamp. There is no swamp here. Right, there's some fish. And there's some dirty water and lily pads, but there is nothing here. All right. Boy, that's uh talk about unlucky generation. Okay, well, that's fine. Alright, so let's swing around this way. I think this is... We're coming up on my base here. I just, we just need to head uh, north for about 400 blocks. Alright. We're getting there, because my base is about 600 and 200, so... Assuming I marked down those coordinates correctly. Yeah, there we go. There's my factory right there. Awesome. Alright, so that's a good thing. Yeah, because I think a nice... Uh, yeah, could be a couple of nice things, I suppose, but it's all right. This is good. Got our horse home. And down we go. All right. Good. We're good. Yeah, but he's still following me, which is also good. All right. So we'll just tie him over to a fence post here. Here's a convenient fence post. All right, enjoy. Ah, okay, cool. Well, this is great. We've got ourselves some some progress that was made. Um, right. That's the other nice thing about taking a horse is it doesn't use stamina. So you don't have to eat as often. All right, and I've got cactus, and I've got acacia, and... Okay, cool. So, now that we're home... Let's head back up here to where I wanted to build the warehouse, or build the flower farm. Flower farm and dye factory and all that good stuff. Which, uh... Thoughts, thoughts are running through my head. I cannot make them stop. I, I was gonna go someplace dark with that, but um, I'm not going to. <laughs> All right, cactus. All right. So, do I have mud? Mid? Mud? I don't. All right. I do have dirt though. So we got that. Got lots of dirt. All right, deep slates. Let's grab some polished deep slate. Grab some polished walls and stuff. Because I'm just going to set all of this stuff over here. All right, now. So the farm is going to sit basically in this area right here. Now, because of the nature of this farm, for rub some dirt now I think I'm gonna put this down here which means I am gonna have to get under this to put in all of the collection system but that's okay in fact what what's the Y level of this that is 83 okay all right that's 83 cool so we can go this way I have torches All right, so what I can do is I can then just connect this way if I, or I can run. Yeah, I can run this way to get to uh, the storage system. Okay, yeah, we're just right there. All right, nice. Cool, so I can run storage that way in. 
everything will be good. All right, nice, 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 nice. So, dudes will take some dirt. Okay, I'm gonna have to modificate all of that. Now, oh, let's see. How do I want to worry about this? Oh, man, it is. I'm all stiff this morning. I don't know. Any of you have those moments? You, did you sleep okay? You doing okay? You just sort of stiff and sore? It's kind of where I feel. All right. Water bottles. I've got a bunch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. It's nice to have a water bottle factory, you know? For those rare times, I actually need water. Okay. All right, nice, nice, nice. So that's gonna go in there. Now, let's get out the ender chest. Okay. Step one, I am gonna need some those saplings later. All right. Okay, let's get some. Okay. Just say, hey, wait a minute, did I screw something up and end up composting my uh, acacia saplings? And I did not. Okay, cool. All right, nice. And roses. Now, I have on good uh, authority that roses are red and violets are blue. But... Uh, Okay. All right. So yeah. So those will those will be fine. Now, uh, let's see. I need dispensers. I may have a few of those. Display links. Awesome. I don't. I'm missing bows. Okay. I don't have a string factory or anything like that. I mean, I could. Let's head down to the... Actually, do I have emeralds? That's a thing, too. Emeralds, not a lot. Iron, it is. Iron is spelled with an R, not a T. The spelling lesson has been brought to you today by Music Free Gaming. And my total inability to type correctly. If you found this uh, spelling lesson helpful, please uh, like and subscribe, and you know, become a member over on Kofi and all that stuff. All right, this will give me a chance to uh, heal up my armor or my pickaxe and stuff too. I suppose my armor, but. Mostly my tools. All right. Okay. Hello, Fletchers. Yes, I actually am here for you now. Cool. Yeah, these are not the most useful arrows you could have given me, by the way. Just saying. The Fletchers don't know what's good for them, I'll tell you. All right. Nice. So let's craft up some dispensers. All right. I mean, I can craft them all up, I suppose, but... Oh, that in and of itself makes the mod worthwhile. All right. So... All right. I'm gonna have to... flowers. Sorry, flowers. I'll put you back. All right. Cool. Now comes the part where I put the flowers back. I know. It's it's exciting, but it's... Ha! You're in a different order. Take that, flowers. You'll uh, not care because you are, in fact, flowers, and you just don't care. All right. Cool. So what I need to do now is get under here. All right, and basically, I'm gonna have to connect in all four of these dispensers. 
and hoppers and stuff. All right. Time to set up shop. Uh, where's all of my stuff? What's that? All right. I'm going to need redstone. I'm going to need storage. This is not going to be a... This is be going to be mostly vanilla, it turns out. Storage cables. All right. Oh, inventory cable. Right. Inventory cable. Wow, that's it, huh? What am I missing? Chests. Cool. All right, that'll work. And let's make some more planks because apparently I just used all of mine. Oops, oak. All right, so those will go in, that'll go in. I can go back. All right, cool. And so now I can make some more inventory cables because I'm definitely going to be needing it. Uh, can we please craft more of those? Thank you. Wow. That's, um, trap doors. Cool. All right. Now can we make more of you? That would, that would be awesome. You know what? We're going to do it this way. Yeah, that that's the way we're going to do this now. All right. That should be enough. All right. So now. All right. So I need a couple of inventory hoppers. Actually, four inventory hoppers at least. Um, some cable. Which, uh, that'll do it. I need some regular hoppers. Oh, hop water, you're so fine. Just grab a stack of hoppers, or 21 of them. That's, it's like a stack if you're a few blocks short of a stack. Um, actually, I'm not even, yeah, because the hoppers are going to have to come out of here anyway. All right. All right, so let's get our inventory connector or inventory cable here nope these go the other way okay All right these are gonna go this way all right now let's get some bone meal I think I've got bone meal problem is I'm using so much of it that yeah Okay, so let's go ahead and set this filter on here so that these guys are just going to be bone meal. Two, three, and four. Cool. All right, so now these should, those will start filling with uh, bone meal as soon as I connect it to the storage. All right, where's my bed? Perfect. Yeah, no, this is going to be, this is going to be cool, I think. All right. So, let's go ahead and get the storage connection in place, and then we'll worry about everything else. Okay. Come on. We've got some storage to connect. Come on. And now we're up into our neck with bone meal. Okay. Perfect. Perfecto. All right, nice. So now that's getting primed. I just need to now set hoppers to deliver stuff places. Um, How uh, do I want to do? Obviously, the hoppers are going to go somewhere. Let's let's just grab a, a uh, double chest. Double chest? Double chest. Yeah. All right. Um, storage boxes right here. All right. 
cool. So now what I want to do is I think, yeah, I think I can make this work this way. This would be okay. This is going to be a little janky, right? I know jank. This is definitely going to be it. Okay. And this is going to come out. Nope. Going to go the other way. Just going to go. Okay. Let's, let's actually target the thing where it's going to go. Okay. It's going to go that way. All right. Let's take that out for a minute so that I can make sure everything works before it goes dumping into the storage. And I have to hop her up down here. So, because I need actual hoppers. Ooh, that's actually, speaking of actual hoppers, let's uh, double connect out of this one. I think that'll be better. <sighs> All right. This is, okay, this is messy is what this is, but it's all right. Well, can, we can make it work. So, let's see, how do I want to do this? Um, obviously, the hoppers are going to go under here. But I do need them to connect into this chest. Which, maybe let's... Okay, let's change this. Okay, because the... Yeah. Let's just change this a little bit. So, we'll put the double chest right here. Okay, nothing too crazy. And then, what I can do is... It goes out. Grab hoppers. There, there. Okay, hang on. That will feed in there, and then this one will feed in here. Okay. So now we've got L double chesto. So that'll go that way. That sucks down into that, and then right. And I can now connect in over that way. But again, I'm going to wait just a minute so I can watch this work. I can't watch it work because there are things in the way. Okay. So we'll just dump and I'll watch it work from the controls. We good? We good. All right. Redstone toolbox. Do I have observers? Perfect. So now the plan is uh, to... Oops, that's facing the wrong way. That way. All right, we'll just uh, place those like that. Cool, so those are gonna feed. These guys are gonna do that. Awesome. Oh, let's get some glass real quick. And some pistons, probably. Um, sticky pistons would be great. Obviously, that works. This is a vanilla farm. There's nothing really crazy about it. All right. Pistons. Okay, and then... Okay, I now have a stack of them. Awesome. One, two, three, and four. That should do it. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these facing up. To. Piston has to go there, up like that. Cool. Again, super easy. This this part of the farm. Definitely super duper easy. Now, let's uh, take this off for a minute. Because one of the things I'm going to need to do here is... I'm going to have to run some stuff back this way. I 
think. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's design this and and then we'll see where the redstone goes. I know it's sort of backwards, but I kind of need to make that work. So we're gonna grab some glass. Um, oh, I think I've got wireless links in here. Yes, I do. Cool. And then I've got some level emitters, which I'm also going to need. All right, so let's, the glass is gonna go here. Right? Yes. And let's see. All the decorative nonsense. Grab some of those. So, oh, diorite. Nice. Okay, diorite. Cut diorite and the polished cut diorite. Cool. Again, we're continuing with the, uh, the basic design theme that I've got going for the rest of this place. Okay. So something, something just like this, I guess. Um, right, and then, right, we add our, oops, nope. Yeah, we add our diorite pattern back here. Okay, cool. And do I, Want to add one more? I guess it, I don't know if it really matters, I suppose. All right, but that's going to go there. So, yeah, kind of, kind of, def there's a definitely, a definite kind of going on here. So. I think I'm going to, not that one. I think I'm going to take this going that. Um, now, having said that, I think I'm going to put it up one more. Okay. Just because. I think it's going to look better. Just all in all, I think it's going to look better. I'd like to actually add this. In fact, I could put it up a little higher even if I wanted. Okay. I live here now. Okay, Mr. Sunflower, enjoy. All right. So that goes there. It's really dark outside. Is it just me? Is it just really dark outside? Oh, it's because it's raining. All right, nice. Okay, yeah, got it. So that'll go there. We'll bring these up one more. And then... Two, three, four. Right, do I... Oh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I guess we'll bring this this way. It's a, it's a start, I suppose. All right, now, so I could glass up that way, but what I want to do is let's see what I've got in the way of glowstone. Got a little bit, so, all right. Grab some, uh, yeah, all right. Grab some redstone lamps. Now, here's how I want this to work. And it's going to be... This is going to be a little funky because these are right next to each other. Okay? I want them to go like that. Now, if I were to... Do this... Okay. Right. So now if I do that, and now let's get let's get some radios. Right? And I'm going to do it this way. All right. Now these are all going to be receiving. 
No. Actually, do I? I don't even know if I need radios on these ones. Just now as I'm thinking about it. It might be easier, though. So... Because I need to... Yeah, because I could put the level emitters down there and radios here, and that would be okay. This might be easier. So let's... Let's go ahead and put these radios in, and we're going we're gonna to do some tests. Okay? And let's set these guys on receive. Yeah, set them on receive. All right, and because of my pattern here, we're using shaft to denote that these are factory dealy bobs. Cool, and now I need the flowers back. Okay. So, because I think they've all gone into the storage here. Rose, let's just, I'm just going to test one. Okay. And Rose is the far one. Okay. Wonderful. So Rose is going to go there. All right. So now I, the idea is, okay, once I've received that, rows and shaft, shaft, shaft. Okay, go and just grab a redstone torch right now. A lever would work fine too, but okay. So that one's on, nothing else is, wonderful. And then what I'd want to do here is, I guess I can continue that pattern, right? And if I were to do, okay, this is, I don't need the checkerboard back here, but we're doing it anyway. Okay. Okay, other than the fact this is backwards. Oops, uh, let's go the other way. All right, so when I want that on, right, that's totally reversed. Not what I want. I want this to turn off when I get the, well, I can, I can invert the collector. That's okay. Unfortunately, both pistons right because it's strong powering the uh... all right so that's so that's fine there but this is not so because this is powering this which is not powering that which hits both of those pistons okay which is not what i want okay all right all right, all right. Okay, so what if I do it this way? Because, hey, components are cheap, right? All right, so what if I do it this way, where I get rows and... Let's just keep the shaft in my inventory for the moment. Okay, and put this guy on receive. Yeah, I'm doubling up here, and that's not great. Okay. All right, well, let's try something else then. Let's just grab, 
stone brick. This is fine. Stone brick is fine. I can use anything else I want for this, but we're going to use stone brick. Okay. See, I have a feeling this is not going to work the way I want it to. Let's receive that and that. Okay. Okay, sorry, we had bud power going on. All right, so if this is on... We're not receiving anything. Off. Oh, because I've got to set it to receive. Now, obviously, that would not be roses, but... Okay. Those are powered and nothing is happening. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. Redstone is fun. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to take that out then. Because basically, I want to power... I want to power these. I just don't know how. So, and I, because I want to power them individually, and that's fun. Okay. All right. So, what if I do it in some other extraordinary way? This is going to be exactly the same as what I had before. Right, where if I were to receive that and that. Right? No? Is this a no? Did I actually make something that works? Oh, okay. That may actually be a thing. Okay. Okay, gotta click on the those four pixels. All right, so that would go that way. And it's a little bit annoying using the two wireless links, but that's just gonna be simpler. Okay, the, yeah, all right, this is going to be its own special breed of fun. All right, let's get the other flowers. All right, so we need a sunflower. Got it. All right, we're going to need a lilac. Got it. We need a something else. Peony, got it. Okay, cool. And these are peony, lilac, sunflower. Peony, lilac, sunflower. Lilac and sunflower. Okay. So now let's. I'm just going to be uh, changing a couple of things just so that I can get back. peony. And then nothing. Okay, cool. So that's all of those should be off until I'm ready for those to do things. Cool. That's what I needed. Now, I wonder, I wonder, all right, so let's wonder together. Wonder with me as I try to figure out what the heck I am doing. 
it's a dark and scary process wherein I try to figure out what the heck I am doing. And at no point do I actually understand what the heck I am doing. Come and share this adventure with me. All right, so let's grab some inventory cable, which I've got right here. And let's grab a level emitter right there. Cool, so now if I have roses, right now, obviously this isn't connected to anything, so let's change that. Okay, we'll just bring it down this way. Okay. All right, so if I have, that's on. It's, it's, problem is, how is it powering the, oh, I see, yeah. Cool, but it's not powering the, it's not powering the radio. Well, that's annoying. That is very annoying. Okay, well, cheese monkeys. I was sort of hoping it would power that, but it didn't, so. If I do it this way, then, um, say I cut out a little space here. I've got the room, so let's let's use it. And what if I were to put the level emitter there? Okay, again, this is going to be checking for roses. Okay, and now. goes like that. So that one is on. If I turn this to receive. That's weird. Okay. Those aren't on, which is fabulous. But I should. Oh, yeah. No, it works. Okay, and then this, if I, yeah, let's go back up there and set that again. All right, no, I think this is going to be awesome. This will work. It's a little bit annoying, but, so if I set this to one, okay, we've got that. So that's on, and that's, other than being backwards, this is fine. It doesn't... I was sort of hoping it would light the... Yeah, I, I've got it backwards, but I was sort of hoping, and I thought I tested this before, that this would light up that redstone lamp. Ah. Huh. Okay. Let us test. All right, so that's there. Yeah, because I, I could have sworn I had done this test before and it worked, but that's there and that. Oh, okay. How did I do that? Oh, right, the level emitter is talking directly to the redstone lamp. Okay. All right, um, okay, let's go ahead and take that out of the way, just because it is, in fact, in the way. All right, so the level emitter needs to shine directly on the lamp. Okay, cool, because it's, yeah, all right. All 
And actually, that could be fine, because I could... I could move those up, which might actually look better. All right. Let's... No. Let's try that. Okay. And if I take the level emitter right there, and I say, I want to see roses... Right, that emits, and that doesn't. Okay, cool. All right, let's go ahead and move these up then. So that is broadcasting. I want rows. I want this. Hey, Lauren, welcome back. I hope your day is going well. Good to see you again. Okay, cool. And then basically I just have to not the signal going in here to the these pistons, which should be okay. Alright, so let's get the let's get all the radio links and all that stuff in place. Alright, so this is I screwed up my order now. I forgot how things are going. What is it? Peonies and lilacs. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. All right. It's rose, peony, lilac, and sunflower. Lilac and sunflower. Yay. All right. Nice. So this is sunflower. And we'll go till we have a bunch. Um, 200? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, a hundred's fine. We'll go till we have a hundred of them. Hundred lilacs. Okay, it's 101, but I'm not too concerned about it. Okay, and 101 roses. Okay. Now I may play with that so I can do some testing. But, in the meantime, the trick now is to get these pistons to fire off individually. Okay. So that when... Because I have to negate the signal. I still want these to be lit... Yeah, I still want all of these to be lit when the uh, farm is f done processing, when I've got enough stuff in it. Okay? All right, so that should make sense. And then... Okay, I guess I can take this stuff out. I may slide this over here, too. Probably should, just to give myself a little bit more room. All right. Cool. And I could... Uh, yeah, that's going to be... It's going to be a little nicer, I think, if I just bring this across this way. It's not going to be, like, a huge amount nicer. I just think it's going to be nicer enough. Okay, so we'll take that. Cool. So now... Yeah, the, the trick is going to be, again, lighting up these pistons. And only those pistons. So, let's try this. Because I've got to light those things. Do I have redstone repeaters? I do not. And then let's grab some redstone torches because I'm definitely going to need a few more of those anyway. Redstone torches. Okay. Can I craft up a few more of those? Yeah. All right. Cool. That will 
that will definitely work. All right. Ah, <sighs> flower farms can be fun, but also a pain. All right. Nice. So, I would, if I can, it would be kind of nice not to have to use those. So, let's. Right. Not what I had in mind. So I'm pulling signal from that, which is great and wonderful. <sighs> you know, the the super cheater easy way is to do it like this. Is to let's take that out. And that out, I think. Okay. Hang on, I gotta clean up my mess. All right, so now that's gonna go because it because the redstone and that's fine. That's gonna go there, and we'll target on when roses are do, doing stuff. Okay. All right, so that should be on. All right, let's just get this in place. Big flipping not gates, that's, you know, which is fun and exciting. All right. And I forgot what the first one or the second one was. Peonies. Awesome. All right. So, right, I'm taking those out. So now if this one were to be on, let's say, let's go and just... Okay, so that one fires, and that one's done. And if the peonies I set to one, that one fires and is still doing stuff. Why is it still doing stuff? Oh, because it's not set correctly, that's why. Please do receive your signal, thank you. All right. And to receive, 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 receive. Okay, yeah, no, I think this is gonna end up working great. So that'll go there, that'll go there. Lilacs and sunflowers. All right, nice. So if I were just to, again, we're just gonna test this. We have enough, everything's there. If I end up needing more lilacs. That one drops and everything's fine. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So this is going to go there. Turn these back up to 101-ish. All right. Ah. Heck, I'm sold. Okay. Now, I don't have any bone meal for it, but if I did, I would definitely be getting uh, flowers right now. Okay, that's that's definitely a thing. Um, does that need to be... No, I can make that slabs. Let's do that. Uh, I probably have slabs over here somewhere. Wow. Viridium. Cut viridium slabs. Okay. Apparently I had some polished viridium slabs in a few places, but it's okay. All right. I don't need two stacks. I do, however, need my wrench. I know. Weird, right? But I do. All right. So let's take these out. All right, we'll put those as slabs just to keep uh, all of that happy. No. 
All right. However, that... Jeez, I am clicking on all the wrong things. I hope you click are clicking on the right things today because that also should not be that. I need some of this, which I do not have. All right. Uh, deep slate. Oops. Deep splate. 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 I've been working with the flowers too long, and now my words are going all fleur fleur. If you occasionally have fur fleur versions of your words yourself, drop them in the comments because I'm all about the fleur fleur today. Okay. That was silly. Anyway, so. So that'll go down that way. Cool. Cool, cool. And yeah, theoretically, I could actually move this up, but no, nah, we're, we're good. We're fine. Um, so just out of curiosity, what would it look? No, I can't do that. That has to be solid because the uh, I don't want the flowers to get trapped in that uh, in that gap. So, okay, um, cool. Let's grab some signs. Signs, awesome. Do I have more of those? Awesome. Uh, almost. I almost have more of those. Cool. Black sign. I'm just putting these to be consistent. You can see obviously what they are. Right? This is obviously roses. All right? This is obviously peonies. Peonies? How do you spell? How's peonies plural? It's probably fine. Lilacs. And sunflowers. All right, nice. So yeah, so when those are all full, whoop, the things will light up here and it'll be great. <sighs> okay, cool. All right, so there's a the flower farm. Now, I need a couple more things though. And that's the other side of this mess, right? Because I need bone meal. This farm doesn't work without bone meal. And I'm now stretching my bone meal reserves pretty thin. Uh, so I'm going to need some cactus. And a cactus farm is going to be interesting. So I could. Now obviously this is all going to have to go out this way until I'm at least past the redstone there. Okay, which is, again, fine. It's not a problem. Ah, oh, boy. Hey, Stick. Hey, no worries, man. No worries. Glad to have you here. All right. Cool. So that's going to go... That will go sort of roughly kind of sort of that way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven... Sure, we'll stop it there. That actually kind of makes sense. All right. Yeah, so that'll work. Um, we'll run this across this way. All right. Nice. So there's the start of our flower farm. And I built it so that I can see it nicely from the the elevator right so I'll come out of the elevator and yep come out of the elevator there's the flower farm it's pretty moving on all right so now I get to build stuff this way now this one I think let's see what I've got in the way of sand I should have ridiculous amounts of sand to be honest but 
I need to figure out. I've apparently screwed up my uh, connection to that storage in some way, so. Well, I'll need to figure that out. But, in any case, so, so that's there. Um, cactus farm. Cactus farm is going to be interesting. So, I'm going to bring, this will go this way. And I'll brick. Sorry, I'm just plotting out where I can see things and that type of thing, right? Because we'll bring this this way. So this will be the window into the cactus farm. And I'm almost certainly going to want to net, then put in some flavor of roofing up here. You know, all that fun stuff. So I suppose I could build this from the top down. That would make some sense. Um, all right, free cam mode here for just a minute. How far down can I go? Looks like I can go okay. This, this back wall is right over the lava farm. But if I come this way a little bit, I should be all right for a couple of rows down of uh, stuff. So... Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to hide all of that. Which isn't a bad thing, it's just in the way. It just, or it's just going to look ugly from over here, so. Cool. Cool, so that'll work. Alright, so I was, as I said, I was building this. So let's get our diorite. And I guess the question is, oh, that's polished. Let's just do this with diorite blocks. It'll be easier than trying to uh, keep track of everything. All right, so cut diorite slabs. Polished, cut diorite slabs, okay. Yeah, so now the plan Right, so if I come in here and it's polished and cut, sort of uh, trapdoor some things here, or trapdoor. Uh, right, so if that's going to go that way, the farm is going to be basically inside from here. Right, so I can come back out this way a bit. All right. Okay, that makes a little bit of sense, right? The polish is going to go here. Cactus farms are really one of those things you want to decorate as you go, because once you do, or because if you don't, they're a little bit of a pain to get back in and do stuff with. So, right, back wall is going to be there, which is fine because then I can do some other stuff. So, cool. All right, so we'll just, oops, nope, that's not where that one goes. Okay, cuts. That way. Yeah, right. Wall's going to be there. I actually probably don't even need this row. Suppose if I do, I'll end up putting it in, but... So this is all going to come in like this. And how far out do I want this cactus farm to go? That's really the next question. All right, so I'm going to need iron bars. I need a lot of iron bars. Just I have a bad habit of crafting way too many iron bars, so, you know, it that happens. Sand. All right. So, basically, and I'm coming in here. The wall's going to be here, right? Wall's going to go there. I can leave this open. Okay, which is fine. This is all going to be wall, so this will be open. Kind of like that. All right, 
cool. And, I'll, and I said, I'll probably end up digging out a whole mess of all of this, but. All right. So iron bars are going to come up this way. Right? Yeah, right to there. And that means this one. Actually, not that. Okay. That means this one needs to be sand. And then cactus and then Dealy Bob. Okay. Like that. Right, so then the cactus will pop off. So let's get some cactus. Cactus, cactus. Oh, the cactus. It is gonna go into my farm. All right, so that's gonna go there like that. And now every time this cactus grows, it'll pop off because it hits the post. Because that's how cactus farms work. All right. And yeah, back wall is going to be back here with the uh, cut diorite. Uh, no. I mean, yes, but also no. Because that is going to have to go there. So, so our back wall is going to be something along that that uh, direction there. Okay, bed. It's going to come over here. Now, I suppose I could ask myself the deep and probing questions of how much cactus do I need? But more than I have is going to be the answer, so we'll, uh, we'll go with that. Okay. Well, that cactus, or that sand ended up in the wrong place. Okay, and again, assuming I did this correctly, which is always an interesting question. Those should all pop off in fun and exciting ways. All right. Cool, so we should be able to now do Farm is going to come out this way some. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do, just as I've been pondering deeply in my heart over the last, you know, like four minutes, I think I'm going to set up another row of cactus underneath this. The catch is... No, I'd like to stagger it, but I don't think that's going to be a good idea. So, cool. All right. Well, I'll figure that out. I mean, I could make this just big, but on one level. But, you know, multiple levels are a, are a good thing. It's just... Now I'm confused. Anyway, the idea is once the cactus, cactus pops off here, I can pick it up and do good stuff with it. Now, in theory, yeah, I should just be able to go. Not there. There. All right. So let's continue this roof. And this is why you decorate while you're going, because it's a really pain. It's a real pain to move through all of this stuff. All right. So we'll get all of this in place. Oh, I need to get some water. All of you out there who have if you're dealing with hydration, you know, drink some water. Water is delicious. All right. 
Yeah, now the second reason for this uh, farm is that uh, cactus is compostable. And I need bone meal, right? My flower farm doesn't work at all without bone meal because flowers are like that. So I have to... Uh, So I'm going to have to deal with something here. I'm not entirely sure how I want to, but basically what I want to do is I want this to be set up to collect a certain amount of cactus, which I'll then feed in for green dye, right? Because that's the whole point of this is to have dyes for uh, use later in my, my builds. But then once I have enough dye, let all of the uh, cactus then flow. I should just put those next to each other. Uh, let all the cactus flow and compost it. Okay. And then, I, then I'll have a nice little passive bone meal farm. Not super high efficient yet, but good enough that... It will keep things going for a little while. I said I'm I'm half tempted to actually put together a real bone meal farm, like a moss farm or something that just composts all the things. You know, something like that. Those things are awesome. They're not too crazy to build, but all right. Wait a bit more. Yeah, and that's that then becomes the other questions. Again, how far out do I want this to go? And then the third question is, did I actually build this farm correctly? Because I have a bad habit of uh, building cactus farms like one block too high on my first uh, first round through all this stuff. And, you know, that's a problem. Okay, so... Let's... I kind of would have expected to have gotten at least... One cactus by now. All right, for all of you who've built cactus farms before, did I do this right? <laughs> right? Is it, uh, or do I have to bring the cactus down a block? Or am I just, uh, impatient? Right? Any or all of those things could be true. But, uh, I'd really like to have built these in the right place the first time. The, the plus side here is that I can theoretically just go through, put the next layer of stuff down and let the cactus or the sand drop onto it. So Okay. Yeah, any time would be awesome. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yes, no. Seriously, any time would be great. I don't actually need this row of stuff here, too. I do need... Yeah, so the water is going to obviously go under the cactus farm. This is a pretty vanilla farm. I just don't build cactus farms often enough to remember the... Uh, the growth here, right? Here, let's take this one for a minute. This is my control cactus. <laughs> when it grows one, I should see that these guys 
should be roughly in the same area. Now it's controlled by random tick, so there's obviously randomness involved. But I should see something. And yeah, it, it is very possible that uh, I'm up too far. But also, it's possible I want to uh, actually shift everything over one direct, one block, but... This is why I don't uh, build them up ridiculously high at first. Yeah, you know, it's like... Let's be sure everything's in the right place, and then, <clears throat> then we'll build it. Put one there too, just to. All right, now I can sit here and stare at these for uh, however long it takes cactus to grow, but let's see how far I actually want out I want this to go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, because if I bring wall back this way. So I really could actually uh, slide all of this over a little bit too. Because if I line, yeah, I think that'll, let's do that. So, I'm just going to shift all of this over a little bit. So, give me something fun and exciting to do while I'm waiting for the uh, cactus to grow. Because watching cactus grow is not that much more exciting than watching grass grow when it comes down to it. Okay. Yep, get all the deep slate out of the way. Okay, so that would go there, and then our happy little viridium stack goes right up that way. All right, nice. Okay, yeah. So that'll go like that. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Ah, look at that all blinky blinky. All right. Yeah, I know I'm doing this farm wrong. I just don't know how wrong I am. Okay, I don't think Cactus has a uh, light level that it needs to maintain, so... We shall see. Definitely shall see. All right, so let's see. If you have, oops, those are, those are the wrong blocks. Need the polished. Yeah, so again, if you have fun plans this weekend, you know, my excitement involves, uh, you know, going grocery shopping, so. So that's going to be exciting. Okay, yeah, that should be a, this should be a nice view once I get all of this uh, sorted. Now, I don't know if I want to actually take the viridium all the way back. I might. That's just, it's been kind of how I've been handling the farms. It's the viridium is on the sides and on the top, bottom if necessary, and then all the way through. But that's going to be a lot of viridium to put in. I can craft diorite. I can't craft viridium. And while I've got a fair amount of it, I'm not drowning in it, right? I only have like 500 blocks, so that could be an issue along the sides, but. Because I could eat that up 
actually a lot of that just over here. So depending on how much further down this is going to go, you know, that's always the, the catch, isn't it? All right. Well, so that's going to happen. Um, right. And you can't bone meal cactus. So just going to have to wait for it. All right. So let's see now. We've got some outside happening over here. So we're not going to cut into that. I really should slide this over. Um, let's free cam up here for a minute. I'm just looking at tree space. I have acacia trees now, so it'd be kind of nice to, uh, I think there's room right here. I can carve into this wall a little bit. I can just plant acacia right over here. I think that'd be a good thing. That'll fill that out nicely and then I'll have acacia, which is nice. Um, all right. Cool. Meanwhile, the cactus still hasn't grown. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen. So hmm. that's actually an interesting question is do I want to take um I could just run this all on one level, all up this way. I'll tell us one, two, call it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, of twelve. Okay, it's not too bad. Ah, but grow, cactus, grow. Yeah, so let's see. It's it's definitely a thing. Definitely a thing that's going to happen. Um, right? Sure it is. Don't know when, but soon. Yeah, see, the fact that I haven't seen cactus pop off of any of this has me worried that uh, I said I've got cactus in the wrong place, but it also doesn't grow like ridiculously fast, right? Cactus farms pretty much depend on size for quantity. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, having this grow up this way. Yeah, just sort of bring all of this around. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay. How long did it take to build the chocolate factory? Not long. A couple of... The chocolate itself, that just took a couple of days. Yeah, about, about four or five hours, all total. Just to get to do the chocolate. The whole rest of this has been many, many streams, but the chocolate itself was almost nothing. Yeah, I mean the, but the whole factory, yeah, this whole thing, is, it's taken many, many hours. What am I at playtime-wise? Stats. Time with world open. Seven days, so. I've been sneaking like half of that. Oh, no, it's like four hours out of seven days. Okay, no, that makes more sense. Yeah, so the free, key, free cam is part of Tweakaroo, which is a client-side mod I use even when I'm playing vanilla, just because it's got too many useful features. But there are standalone free cam mods too, so. Yeah, I'm going to have to shift the farm over or add at least one more row of cactus here, which is... Definitely gonna be okay. I just want to just want to be sure that this is growing properly. So I'm a little bit concerned that I've got it um, I've got it up too high. <sighs> I 
That should be okay, though. Because, yeah, because once the... Uh, oh, there it goes. Yeah. We're good. All right, we're good. Everything's fine. We are totally fine. So... This is another feature of Tweakaroo. Is a block placement. Okay, so that'll work. Okay, so I'm done with this one then. Alright, so that's gonna go in there. Um, I need another row. Actually. <laughs> now that I think about this a little bit. I think I want to shift it over one block. How did I make the cactus grow? I didn't. Cactus just grows. Right? I mean, that's... You plant it on sand and it grows. That's just how cactus works. Uh, where's my shovel? Shovel. There's my shovel. Okay. All right. Let's slide all of this over. I'm sorry, but you're all in the wrong place. We're going to have to... Move all of you and, you know. Now there is a, it's part of the vanilla Minecraft mechanics that when a cactus tries to grow next to something it can't grow next to, like a uh, fence post or a iron bar or something like that, it breaks the cactus. So that's just how the auto farming works. So that's, and that's all just vanilla. Uh, that's just vanilla behavior. I'm not doing anything special with that. All right. That's where I want it. That's right. Everything's gone. Cactus. Oh, yeah. Cactus only gr grows on sand. All right. So, yeah, we're going to take this this way. Yeah, it would be convenient if it grew on something else, something that wasn't affected by gravity, but that's, it is what it is. Okay, how's my light levels are fine. We'll do that. Okay. All righty then. All right, so let's relay out the grid. And I think what I'll do is I'll change these upper posts. Uh, yeah, I'll, let's get the lower posts in place first, and then we'll then I'll place the upper posts in a place that's going to make make things look a little bit more, yeah, you know, whatever. You know, it could be cool. Hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have someone help me? Uh, no. Because this is a single-player world. At least not helping me build. I occasionally have people who help keep me company on stream or with somebody who might have suggestions for things. But as far as actually building the, the farm, no. I, or the world, I just do that myself. Okay. Okay. No, that's not how it's going to go. All right. So I think this is close. Yeah, and, I've, and I'll want to... I could move this wall back one. Give me a little bit more... Give me one more row of cactus. I think that'll be... I think that'll be good. All right, but... I'm going to have to grow a little bit more of that trench, but that's fine because I have to dig out all of this stuff anyway. Yeah, because the the cactus will pop off the, the plant as it grows. Okay, that's great. And then um, I need to, to fall down and end up in a... Uh, in a catching chamber of some sort. Alright. So 
So now we sand it up. Okay. That's why these posts are here, by the way, because sand is a gravity block. And you need something to support it. Now, what I need to figure out, actually it should be fine. I might get a little bit of loss. I mean, cactus farms are, are never perfect because cactus is just weird, but Well, cactus is weird, plus uh, it's destructive of things. So it will totally, uh, if your thing, if your uh, cactus pops off and hits another cactus, it'll get destroyed. Which is annoying, but, you know, again, it's just how the mechanics work. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's in between things. Okay, so that'll go this way. All right, I may take off this last uh, row, but we'll go with that. All right. Does help if I use the correct blocks. Cool, so we'll just get all of this in place and I'm gonna need a lot more, a lot more iron bars, which is fine because I tend to craft up way too many of them. Okay, now I do need to actually start answering the question of, is this gonna be a one level farm or a two level farm? And I don't have an answer for that. Hence the, I need to think about answering that question. Uh, because, you know, if it's a two level farm, then everything has to drop through. I mean, everything has to drop through anyway, but it just decides how far down the uh, the cactus goes. All right, let's go ahead and get this growing. Okay. Now, all of this will pop off when it, when it grows because it's got the bars in between. So we'll let that get started. Um, and we'll do one more row here. That'll... That will keep things, you know, at least, at least uh, growing fast enough that I'll be able to pick up more cactus as this uh, produces. Now, so this is all going to go across this way, which is, you know, great. Again, this is just how cactus farms work. You do have to put the cact the sand on something, otherwise it ends up in the wrong place. All right. Now, <sighs> all right, so all of this stone has to come out no matter what. Given that I want this to also be a bone meal farm, once I have enough dye, I think I should do another level. It's going to be a little bit uh, tedious, but... You know, that's okay. I don't necessarily feel like digging of grabbing a machine to do this yet either. I mean, I could, but how far down am I going? Yeah, all in there. Yeah, I mean, I could run through here. I just, there's just a lot. It's going to be funky shaped, so yeah. Add some NPCs. Yeah. I'll worry about that when I have places for them to go. But 
I mean, I've got plenty of emeralds, so that's not an issue. All right. Okay, so... Yeah, because depending on how you define money in Minecraft is... Uh, changes a little bit how that works. All right. So let's bring this down. Shoot, another couple of levels. Yeah, because I think if I take... Um, Well, at least two layers to this. So a third layer would be great, but that's going to depend on what I start running into under underground. So, because I said my lava farms just over in that direction, so I don't want to run into that. But cactus is cactus isn't bad for bone meal. It's like 50-50 whether or not the uh, cactus will raise your, your uh, compost level. So you should get one, on average, you should get one bone meal for every, for every two cactus that grow. And unfortunately, this doesn't grow quickly, but... Which is why I'm thinking I'm going to want a moss farm, so if I'm going to build the moss farm anyway, because I do have a number of things that just need bone meal, like the mangrove farm, for example, and all of this stuff, then, yeah, it may make sense just to do two levels of this for the cactus farm, and then just build the moss farm and go with that. Yeah, moss farm, I guess it's going to be pr pretty much just a vanilla farm because it's it's a stone generator and um, bone mealing moss. It's not like anything super outrageously crazy. But all the mechanics of making it work is a little fun, but not too bad. Heck, it's going to be even easier if, if I get Tom Simple Storage involved because then I can just run inventory cable up there, up to the top of the farm to provide bone meal to it. So I don't have to worry about all the crazy water streams and things like that. Which uh, makes a lot of that just so much easier. All right. Almost done. I think I've got to go down a little bit more because I do have to add the water for the collection system. And yeah, all that good stuff. So I think that's going to go on this side. Oh, yeah, I need to clean that out so I can decorate it too. All right. No, that's, that's fine. All right, so let me just count. That's empty space. That's cactus. This is sand, which means I need to put up the posts down there. All right. All right, and then I've got one more, or in a couple of cases, probably two more rows of stuff to dig out for the collection system, and we should be good there. All right, nice. Ah, so much digging. Yeah, so I could have built a machine to uh, dig down some of this. It's just the shape is funky, and it would have just probably taken longer to build the machine and stuff than it does to just build it out by hand, so... So, just do it. Though I am sort of missing a, uh, a haste beacon, you know? Haste beacons would be extra happy right, right about now. Alright. 
so we'll get this done. Let's see. So this is that level, so I need to go one more down for the water to collect. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Cool. So now, let's see. I did, do want to take this all out because I'm going to make that prettier. Oh, it's going to eat so much viridium, but it's okay. Yeah, I may absolutely have to go hunting for more of that stuff. Which is hard because it's just a mineral underground. Oh, I think I've got some, actually. I think there's a... I think there's a in my mining cave. I think I found a big viridium patch. I have to whip down there and look. Okay, where's my bed? There's the bed. All right, so yeah, cactus up. Well. That was stupid. I should have put all the sand and cactus in place before I started digging this out. But What's the lava farm do? It farms lava. I need lava for lots of things. I need it for steam power. I need it for um, cooking. You know? Lava is exceptionally useful. It's one of those nice things, like if you're ever, even if you're in vanilla survival, it's like, you know what? If you've got the resources to do so, build a lava farm. Because it said it's just a nice, easy fuel to throw into a manual furnace. And it's actually super easy. It's a great way of getting obsidian because eventually you need obsidian. So... You know, all that good stuff. But in this case, I'm using it for a number of different things. Now, the nice thing is create mod will harvest the lava, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay. This is right. Yeah. Okay, let's just double check, make sure I'm not losing my mind, because it wouldn't be the first time. Okay. Yeah, that'll be good. Well, it says dyes and planting because I am getting stuff for dyes. So I've I've built the flower farm, I've got the cactus farm, and I am earlier in the stream I was planning out kind of where I wanted to go with uh, some of the builds, now that I'm getting closer to having actual food, I want to figure out a, a nicer way of presenting that rather than, oh, here's a wall of buttons. It is eventually going to end up being walls of buttons, but I was sort of thinking that, hey, a, uh, a number of restaurants might be fun to build, so... So that was happening earlier in the stream. Plus, I was actually hoping this this was taking longer than I was expecting, but I was also kind of hoping that I could get um, get into the actual die automation, but I don't have the, the time for that right now. Yep, things just uh, got away from me a little bit. All right, nice. Why are you the only one watching my stream? Don't have an answer for that. Typically, it's considered rude to talk about a uh, about the number of people watching, but but no, some it's, it's just uh, people watch when they want to watch. There have been others here. They've come and gone. It's, it happens. Here we go. 
Yep, no worries. Yeah, for me, it doesn't matter. I, I've got my viewer watch up all over the place So for my viewer numbers. There are some streamers that like to stream with those numbers off because of, you know, for anxiety type reasons. So it's a good idea to uh, just, you know, be polite to your streamer. Now, of course, you could go share out your love of the stream all over the place and... You know, get other people who want to watch the stream and they maybe they would subscribe and all sorts of good stuff, but all right. So now where things are gonna get a little hairy and stupid is uh I've gotta put cactus break dealy bobs in all of this stuff, and that's gonna be right, these bars that are in between. Yeah, we subbed in light. That's well, you can only subscribe once, so if you uh subscribe a second time, you might check and see if you didn't just unsubscribe. <laughs> All right. Oh, I need to miss a couple here. All right. Yeah, because then I what I have to do here is Okay, just hop in sort of like that. Yeah, so there is a, a possibility. It's kind of a small possibility, but it does exist nonetheless that uh, some cactus will pop off and land on one of these. But I don't think it's, I think it's going to be a fairly small problem, and so I'm not too concerned about it. Okay, the good news is I already have a smelting rig set up, so I can just uh, automatically feed the cactus into that to create all the green dye I need. Okay, pop that, go. That's not where that goes at all. Cool. Ah, uh, this is, this, some of this stuff is just tedious to build, but, okay. Yeah, now that, I don't know if you saw that happen, but the, uh, the cactus popped off and landed on top of itself. So the drop eventually got destroyed, but it's rare that that happens, but it does happen on occasion. So cactus farms will never be perfectly lossless. So I'm not too worried about there being a... Okay, yep, see there's the lava. Okay. I'd like very much to not fall into that, so... You know. Also, I'd like very much to not turn all of that into obsidian, so we're going to be a little bit careful how we handle this when it comes time to put water in the farm. And there are... I mean, I don't technically have to use water. I could use a minecart, but... Yeah, water is definitely going to be the way to, to go. It's just simpler. Yep, see, that's cactus. All right, so we'll get all of the cactus in place, and yeah, I kind of screwed up when I was uh, building this, so I'm getting the cactus in is going to be a pain, but it's all right. You make your choices, you live with them, you move on. Okay, and how are we doing on time? I should actually be stopping here soon, too, so. Cool. 
So let's get this in place, and then what I need to do is block off some of the the lava there, so I don't end up again accidentally pouring water down it. Oh, I'm actually I'm gonna have to take this wall out anyway. So okay, so that's gonna go there, polished and cut. All right, polished, cut. All right. So that's going to be my back wall. And I'm going to checkerboard it like I've checkerboarded everything else in this, uh, in, in my farms. But that should be all sorts of fun and exciting. It'll look nice once it's all in place. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with the one row. And... Oh, I don't have water buckets on. That's okay. Get a couple of water buckets and then uh, figure out where the water streams need to go to, so I can collect all of the cactus. So that's going to be nice and easy. Uh, as soon as I figure out how to actually get out of here. Okay. Cool. And water buckets away water buckets just have one okay that's fine i can i can type totally can yep that's a skill that i have right yeah I gotta double check sometimes i have that skill all right yeah Oh, filling that up is going to be a pain. Future me is not going to be happy, but... Heck, current me isn't... Oops, workshop. Current me isn't exactly thrilled with my life choices at the moment, but... We'll deal with that. Alright, let's get a little bit of water from my sink. Alright. Alright. And back up to the warehouse. Oh, the elevators? It's part of uh, Create Mod. Yep. The, yeah, the elevators are nice. This is It's new with this version of Create Mod. They weren't in the previous version, so... I'm happy. This is my first time using them. And I screwed it up a little bit. There would have been a, a little bit nicer way of handling it, but it's okay. All right, so this is going to go there and there. So water source. Cool. And now, so, so we'll take, take this down this way. See, the cactuses are already popping, which is excellent. I should, rather than, because uh, I'm not going too much further, so we'll just uh, do it this way. This will make some sense. Okay. Can't find the mod. Yeah, it's just called Create, or Create Fabric, if you're on the uh, Fabric or Quilt Loader. All right. Okay, so, yeah, I'm just going to continue this this way. That way I don't have to worry about too much extra water. I'll just tag on to what I've got here. All right, so that's going to go that way. All right, water this across because it's water and it's easy. Just because I have all the create mod goodness doesn't mean I have to use all of the create mod goodness. All right. So now the next thing I want to do is I need to dig out a space down here. How much further is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Yeah, it's going to go to there. I don't think it's going to go any further. Yeah. That's fine. That is just peachy. So, we'll take this out. And I'm going to have to go get some more water, but that's fine. It's just up there. All right. Now, technically speaking, I don't have to... Uh, I could use science and stop the water. I don't have to go this far under. I just don't feel like messing with that. So, instead, we're going to just take this right down this way. Okay. Pop this in here like that for now. All right. So this is going to flow this way. Let's get some more water. And now I'm going to set up another water stream going this way. Okay. Where's my storage? Okay, it's up there. All right, that's not too bad. Somewhere. What is that? X, Y, 5, 48, 4, 11. 411, so that should be right, right in there. Perfect, okay. Cool, so that's good to know. So bring all of that in that way, and then I can do all sorts of good stuff. So that's gonna come down here. All right, again, water streams are Really useful. All right, so that's going to go there. And now, water will flow right to here. And I can grab a hopper and catch everything. Should be great. Oh, yeah, this is, this is going to be fabulous. All right. All right, so let's sleep. We'll get a hopper and... How do I want to handle this? Yeah, all right. I don't have a hopper there. Come on, there we go. Clicky, clicky. Oh, I have got four cactus. Huh, okay, cool. Hopper. Oh. What am I missing? Chest. Okay. Awesome. Hoppers. You know, I might snag a couple of those chests. I've got some probably in one of my toolboxes, but we'll go with that. All right. And speaking of toolboxes, let's um, grab some... Uh, Inventory hoppers, grab some cable. Cool. That should work. Right, so this is all going to slide down this way. Right, so the cable. Uh, let's grab some food. All right. Inventory cable. That's going to come down this way. All right, so I think the way I'm going to handle this is we're going to go like so. All right. So we'll grab our our double chest. We'll go right here. We'll uh, slap a hopper. Oh, I already had a bunch of hoppers. Cool. Slap a hopper right there. So that'll collect everything. And then... I think, let's double check all the stuff. Double check my math. And I'm going to have to get down here so that I can reach the bottom of this. That'll go that way. Cool. All right, nice. So now the cactus will flow in there and we'll just end up in my storage system, which is perfect, actually. It's what I needed to do. All right, now I've got a lot more cactus to place, and I've got some other stuff. Said I was hoping to get a little further along in the dye-making process, but 
this will work. And I said, a lot of this is going to go to compost anyway. But, all right, cool. Well, I think this will be good. Well, let's, uh, we'll call this for today. Webcam, there we go. I know the buttons I want to push. And, yeah, all the fun and excitement that uh, we could totally ever have. And also, just a reminder, you can go follow me on my socials, all that good stuff. And uh, remember to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And until next time, be excellent to each other. This is Music for Gaming signing off.